Hello everyone, Mark Swingle. This week we've been focusing on our straight, straight techniques, which make a straight line from where they start to where they go. No extra roundabout motions like on some of our other techniques. One very simple, oversimplified way to practice this idea of tunnel kicks is to get a tube or a box or something that you can kick and punch through. My goal is to kick through the box without hitting the box. My target is back there. Ball of the foot front kick. In and out. Both legs. Okay, um, like that. Our punches, we can do the same way. A side kick I can do, but this is a little too narrow. Okay, and I need it to be at my hip level. So I can put it this way and I can try and go through, through the box. If I wanted to kick higher, I'm gonna to need to angle the box because the straight line is from my hip up to where I'm going generally, okay? Um, it's oversimplified, but if you have a tube or a box, or even if you can just visualize it, I can be next to my wall and I don't wanna kick my wall, I wanna slide up along the wall in that straight line for a straight technique. I'll show it to the camera if I can. Let me see if I can move this stuff. Oh, you can also do weapon strikes, okay? Bam, bam. You don't wanna hit the box on the way in or out of a straight technique. The same idea, straight techniques at the camera, in case you can see. Realize that with big baggy pants, my pants might clip the box, but I don't want that to happen either. If I'm doing my punches, I need to be at the correct level. So I'm down in a deep horse stance so that I can reach straight through the box. If I'm punching, two knuckles, same spot, in and out. I'm not hitting the box. If it's this way, it might be a little too narrow because I come from my hip or my shoulder. I don't come like this, okay? So I would put the middle of me on the edge and then I would go over here to make sure I'm getting the straight line because this, is a little too narrow for me. Same thing with the kicks. My box is falling over. Hopefully it'll last. Same thing with the kicks. Front kicks, in and out. It's a little too narrow for me to fit a side kick, although that would be impressive if you could do it. So I need to put it down. You can try side kicks. Make sure it's at the right level, your hip level, to push through and pull back. Yeah. Up. Blade edge or bottom of the heel, however you do your side kicks. Up. Straight in, straight out. You can do your weapon strikes. As long as they're straight, Okay, nice and close. No extra motion, no chicken wing elbows. This is just one way to practice. And if you don't have a box, you can just visualize or use your camera. Take a video of yourself like I'm doing. See if you can get lined up, straight out, straight back, spinning back kick should go straight and back, not around, okay? Your punches, you can analyze your punches. Two knuckles, hopefully in a straight line. Palm strikes, knife hands, anything with a straight motion, okay? Try not to go around to get there. It makes you slower and weaker than if you can go straight. And then we still want to engage the hips Tongue then, boom. Even though I'm moving straight, 
I'm still trying to maximize my power.